All right, here it is. The famed in motion V12, one of three currently in Australia. Got the pedals in a low position because I'm a low rider. 40 PSI on the tire, but I'm normally a flat tire guy. What do I think? Well, if in motion made Gotway RSs, it'd be the best wheel on the face of the planet, but they don't. Torque is good. However, it cannot match the high torque Gotway RS, which I also have. The weight's very similar. I like how this comes up higher on the leg, but the Gotway RS high torque has lots more torque. I've been able to overpower this, and it's uh, nice and progressive when you overpower it, just like the V12, uh, V11. Just got some crappy Clark pads on there. I absolutely hate them, but I've got the Grizzler pads on the way whenever they get shipped from Poland. That's it. Well, of Got 40 PSI on the tyre. The V11 didn't make it up this little hill. And I came up here. in motion absolutely batters Gotway and even King Song and especially Veteran is in the software. The programming of the pedals, the customizations in this are unbelievable. I've got split mode on so I can adjust forwards and reverse. So how much sag I want going backwards and forwards. You know people call it acceleration or braking power. It's not really, it's more like uh, the cushion. I've got in off-road. You can have off-road or commuting mode. And then I've got it split, so I've got a little bit more strength on the acceleration, but then a bit more give on the brakes. The brakes are great. They're 
acceptable. Probably on a par with the V11. Where the uh, pedal handling is great is for manoeuvres like that. I can't do that on a Sherman. The pedals just keep dipping. And uh, you need more skill than I, I currently got. This I can ride around in circles backwards a little bit. Well, I get dizzy after the first one. To be honest, I'm not a 16 inch wheel rider. I don't like the twitchiness. Pretty responsive, not really much more so than an 18 inch uh, RS. I've had a couple of 16 inches in the past, but really I like to, to ride the 18 inch wheels minimum. And even bigger, massive fan of the monster. Once you get used to it, overpowered there on the uh, gave it that little screech When there's a seat for this, it'll be pretty good. It's got a good shape for sitting on. It's even pretty good to sit on without a seat, to be honest. Definitely feels better to sit on than a V11, not as comfortable. V11 is probably the most comfortable seated uh, ride there is. But no control on that wheel, I feel. It just wants to go and there's no braking. Whereas this, how easy. Higher than the uh, RS. got a new firmware and they've changed the sound wave. It's buggy and it sounds like shit. When you coast, there's no noise. So when I'm cruising behind 
pedestrians. Nothing, it's only on the bike. Better sounds. And only use darker spot. Darker spot currently isn't actually compatible with just weird stuff. Really a kickstand now. I never do reviews or speaking videos. Well, sometimes. Anyway, so this. It's a good wheel. It's not the wheel. If it was 18 inch, we're getting really close. But then again, it's more like an RS high speed. Just more comfortable. More comfortable, comes up higher in the legs. These paddings, the Gotway uh, briefcase really cuts into my legs here. Absolutely hate it. Hurts the legs, but it's what you what you got to do. <clears throat> this definitely not a great off-road wheel. It can do it. So can an M10 3. This is a great city wheel. Very easy to get on and off. I've got the pedals in a low position. Look. You know, you can, you know, you've got to cross the street, stop, go. Excellent for that. I like a bigger tyre or a bigger wheel for uh, high speed off road cruising. This, however, I think it would be great, perfect urban commuter. Very good quality, few bugs. This is an early batch, I hope they improve it. The main one that I'm experiencing, which I can't show you on video because it won't show up, is this free play rocking backwards and forwards motion. I haven't heard that in another review. The wheel still rides fine, feels kind of like you'd expect a loose axle but it doesn't ride like that so time will tell what the problem is I'm definitely not opening it up to have a look inside should you buy one maybe if you're not a basher if you're a city rider if you just want to commute have a little bit of fun definitely you want to take it on trails, off-road, get an RS. If you want to do jumps, definitely an RS. Not a big fan of the way the axle looks on this, the attachment. Hollow motors aren't without their faults. 
However, you can absolutely stomp on them without any issue. This looks like it could pose an issue down the track. And I can change a tire on the RS in half an hour. I don't even think I'll have this apart in half an hour. That said, don't ever open up a gotway unless you want to have a nightmare. At least this inside looks like a respectable product, not not a, uh, you know, the gotway motherboard and all the wiring in there just looks like an electronic scrap heap. Terrifying, but powerful.